Oh, I think you're ready, mate. For what? Yeah, talk to a pretty girl and take her home, show her your gift. No, no, I'm not. Look, you're as ready as you're ever gonna be. Just play to your strengths, man. Me, I'm, you know, mysterious, good in bed, and, well, you, you're a, <laughs> you know, you're a, a stable and employed adult. Jesus. You see that girl over there? You want me to talk to her? No, I want to talk to her. The, the one behind her. Oh, yeah? Oh, she's a proper looker, isn't she? Do you think she came to this crowded bar to have a quiet drink alone? <laughs> nah, she's hunting, mate. She's just looking for an opportunity to settle for a responsible and stable adult, and I'd like her to settle for you. Oh, well, thank you for the ego boost, but just because I've watched you pick up women doesn't mean I know how to pick up women. You ever seen the Karate Kid? What does that have to do with anything? Well, you know when he's teaching him to wax on, wax off, but he's actually teaching him how to fight. So you want me to fight? <laughs> Look, what's the first thing I do when I go up to a girl? I buy her a drink. Yes, mm. always. Without fail, you buy her a drink, and even if she doesn't want one, you insist. And do I talk about myself? Never. Never talk <laughs> about yourself, always about because her. Because bar banter it is boring. It's the worst. So you put the impotence on her. <laughs> She has to be the interesting one. Impress me, impress me with how interesting you are. It's a big game. A creepy, creepy little game Ooh, that you play. It's a little bit judgmental, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay then, so, at the end of the night, what do I do? Do I ask her to come home with me? No, you tell them <laughs> to come home with you. They have no choice in the matter. It's your choice, and they feel so overjoyed to have the opportunity to make sweet, sweet love to you. Oh my God. You did. You meagged me. All right then, take off your ring. Let's go.